Welcome fellow vintage Ray-Ban lovers out there. Hope you're all well and welcome to another episode of my vintage Ray-Ban Bush and Loom collection. It's a beautiful day here in the UK, nice and sunny. Finally, the summer is here. Come on. So, picked these up a couple of days ago or got them in the post a couple of days ago and what we have here is the classic Bush and Lum Ray-Ban Aviator in 6214 uh, version. There's two sizes to this particular model. Where there's the 58 mil and there's the 62 mil. As I said, these are the 62 mil. Uh, and the 62 mil refers to the size of the lens. Boom. And the 14 mil refers to the size of the nose bridge. Boom. So, um, there's nothing, I mean, these are standard aviators. There's, um, you know, these are, I mean, you'd get about a hundred of these selling at any one time all over the world. I mean, they did so many of these, you know, they're just bog standard aviators. Um, we haven't really got to the, 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 the proper stuff. Um, so these are sort of your basic entry aviators. They look great. They're, um, the gold frame around them looks, uh, looks really nice. Um, and, um, and what I'll do, like in my other videos, I will, um, put up pictures of, um, you know, of the, the Ray-Ban wording on the lens, you know, any other codes that are around. Uh, these particular ones are L2846, which you'll actually find on the back of there. See that? L2846. Um, and, um, yeah, so basically, um, I want to talk about pricing, really, um, about Bush and Lom sunglasses. Now, I got these, uh, in my view, at quite a good price. Uh, I'm on a certain forum which talks about um, uh, vintage Bush and Lum sunglasses and people on there are always asking about how much things cost um, or how much sunglasses cost, etc. Uh, what I say is Google is your friend and there are other search engines out there for you to use. Um, but I think, I mean, I bought these, these are NOS. And if people out there don't know what NOS stands for, it means new old stock. So, uh, for, so that's for people who didn't know what that meant. NOS means new old stock. And I think price range, a conservative estimate, UK um, price, I reckon you're looking at anything uh, between mm, a hundred, uh, what I'm talking about, 80 to a hundred pounds. And for me, that's got to include, uh, the case, original case. And I got an original case, uh, with these glasses. There it is. A bog standard brown bush and loom sunglasses case. Nothing special. Um, it has patent, patent pending seven in there. I'm not going to bother showing you that. Um, now I've seen, I mean, prices vary from region to region, season to season. And, um, I've seen some go for 60 and I've seen some go for 150. If you have the money to be paying 150, well, um, you know, good on you. I don't think personally you should be paying 150 for a bog standard pair of aviator sunglasses. As I said, I think uh, you'll be doing really well if you get something uh, new old stock in the bottom range of 60 to 70 quid. I think you'll be paying the correct price, anything between 80 and 100 and anything over 110, I think you're being mugged off. So, um, so there you have it, folks. Um, these are the Bush and Lum Ray-Ban Aviator uh, G15 lens.
Okay, folks, I've tried to take some photos of the G15 lenses, um, but they're not very good. So I'm just going to do a little video demonstration of them. Uh, the Bushnell and Ray-Ban G15 lenses were originally developed for the US military, the pilots and uh, other guys and, and, well, I suppose guys in those days uh, in the armed forces. Um, so it just basically protected or, you know, tried to protect their eyes uh, against the glare. So um, here we go. See that? Lens on. Lens off. Really darkens everything that you're looking at. And immediately, so you can just imagine the pilot, you know, uh, high up in the sky with the sun blazing down into his, um, into his vision and into his view. Um, not really good for flying. Um, so as soon as he's got these on, it just darkens everything. It's still very clear. Um, and, uh, and those are your G15 lenses. Peace out.